441 Orange Street. This was the home of uh, a Leopold Waterman, uh, who, as we said before, was the first president of uh, Mishkan Israel. Um, he was deeply engaged with the larger Jew Jewish American world. Um, he had a big influence on, on uh, Rabbi Wise, as we mentioned, and he was among the many organizations that he was uh, instrumental in founding was the B'nai B'rith organization, which of course is still uh, very much around today. Um, this, he purchased this building uh, in 1852. Um, and Aaron may be able to give us more details about the, agri the uh, architectural story there. But that would have been just after uh, he welcomed the uh, Hungarian, the former Hungarian leader and freedom fighter, uh, Louis Kossuth, who was on his grand uh, fundraising tour of, uh, of the United States to, to uh, raise money for his revolution against the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Um, and he's often described as a translator for Kossuth. I think that's got to be wrong because Kossuth uh, was fluent in German as well as Hungarian. Um, but uh, Waterman was in fact a, delivered uh, an address to uh, Kossuth in German um, on behalf of, uh, of uh, uh, Lodge 14 of the German um, Lodge uh, and that was uh, that that talk was recorded. I've seen that in in uh, newspaper articles around the country, particularly in the Jewish press. Um, his brother Sigmund Waterman was also a, a very distinguished uh, leader. first person uh, to teach German at Yale University um, and later became uh, a, a professor there, then uh, moved to New York, um, got his, his uh, MD at Yale uh, and became a uh, path-breaking um, surgeon in New York City. Uh, Aaron, do you have anything on either on the architecture of this place or on Sigmund's story? Uh, yeah, not too much. Sigmund was, was it? Both, Sig both Sigmund and, and Leopold are, are very interesting. I think as Rob said that, that Sigmund uh, was, a, uh, he was a literary scholar. He also attended uh, medical school. He, was one of the first medical school graduates at Yale, and he was also a, a published poet in both German and English. Both his and Leopold's papers are at the uh, uh, Jacob Rader Marcus Archives at Hebrew Union College in Cincinnati. I would love to go and, and look at, at their papers. I'm sure there's some fascinating uh, material there. Uh, as for the, the Jewish Home for Children, um, it doesn't, uh, it still exists. It still exists. It does not provide uh, services to orphan children anymore, but it still exists as a scholarship fund. And it gives out scholarships to uh, local under, underprivileged youth uh, in, in greater New Haven, both Jewish and, and non-Jewish. 